Tell me how to fix an iPad Air charging port. It may not be the port if you're not plugging the charging cable all the way into the iPad Air, or whatever you're charging it from. It is plugged in but it isn't charging. If you are not using Apple approved cables, that may be why it doesn't charge. That would also be a reason why it wouldn't fit right in the port, but that isn't the cause. If the iPad Air has trouble charging and connecting to a computer and syncing your data, I would suggest getting the dock port replaced. What could have caused it to not work in the first place? Dust, wear and tear, water damage, bad connectors. If it had a bad connector, it wouldn't have worked in the first place. You could have unplugged and replugged it in too aggressively. It might have fallen off the table with the plug in the port and damaged the port. All kinds of things. If it isn't working because of dirt, I'll try cleaning it with a cotton swab and rubbing alcohol that I have on hand, versus the tools I've seen online sold for this kind of job, which I hope not to have to do very often. If it is water damage, you have to replace the port. If the connector port has water damage, so does the rest of the iPad Air. Technically, replacing the iPad Air solves the problem. I don't have an extended warranty, which is why I'm asking for your help with this problem. Good, since replacing the port by taking the thing apart with a small Phillips screwdriver, spudger, pry tool, suction cups and hair dryer, removing the part, putting in a working one and reassembling it voids the warranty in every way. And it sounds like I risk breaking it trying to fix it. You do have to remove multiple parts to get to the charge port. That makes replacing the charge port riskier than replacing the screen. You can take it to a repair place aside from the Apple store, and hope they can fix it. What else can I try? If you just got a new iPad Air charge port flex cable, the problem might be the cable and not the port. Plug in the device to the computer directly, and if it connects to iTunes fine. The problem is not the charge port. Yes, but then the issue is more likely the battery. The cable could be the problem too, especially if it is crimp. Crimping could break the overall connection. I'd rather get a replacement cable to verify the port is fine, than replace the port and end up replacing the iPad Air.